Are you looking to get started riding motorcycles this year, but you don't want to break the bank when it comes to your gear? Well, I've got you covered in today's video. I'm going to get you started with an essential riding kit for under $430. And if you want the whole kit and caboodle featured in today's video, it's going to come in under a thousand bucks. If you hit the links down below to shop.yamanube.co, you'll check out all these products and you'll get entered to win this amazing Yamaha YZF R6 we're featuring. This is a vintage 2008 model that is just so pristine and I can't wait to give this thing away. Let's get started with the most important piece of riding kit, your helmet. So full disclosure, nobody paid us anything in this video to say anything good about these brands. We have handpicked these brands to feature on our store because we think they're great value for money and they're going to keep you safe on the road. This is our best selling helmet, the SS900 from Speed and Strength. We've sold hundreds, maybe even over a thousand of these helmets at this point. And that's for good reason. Number one, it's the price point on this thing, right? $109 gets you in the door for an ECE rated helmet that has vents, a free tinted visor and pretty good features inside. I think that's great value for money, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. This is not a premium helmet. This is not a helmet that you'd want to wear for more than two, three years. You're definitely going to upgrade from here. But again, to get you started riding for 109 bucks, an ECE rated helmet is going to be a great thing. The fit and features inside this helmet punch kind of above its price point, to be honest. You know, you slip this thing on, you can tell it's a budget helmet, but it feels kind of like a $180 to $200 helmet when you actually have it on. I've actually test ridden a couple of these helmets and they feel pretty good. I would never sell anything on the store that I don't feel confident in owning myself. So this is a great entry level option. Again, comes free with this tinted visor as well. Kind of get the cool Stormtrooper look on. You can get it in a matte white or a matte black finish. I think we also sell them in a gloss black, which is pretty cool. So check out the SS900 helmet for your first motorcycle helmet. You're not going to be disappointed. But let's check out the next most important piece of kit, your shoes. Now this frontline boot from Z1R, it's actually a new product we're featuring on the store. And Z1R is a brand from Parts Unlimited, which is a new supplier relationship that we have. And we've been really impressed with the Z1R stuff, honestly. 119 bucks for these shoes, gets you reinforced leather, padded ankles, uh, abrasion resistant uh, rubber right over here, a little shift protector for your shoe. And this is gonna be a great choice for beginner riders because you're probably gonna drop your bike in a parking lot and you really don't want the pegs going through your ankle. That's not gonna be a good time. Another really cool feature this boot has is the fact that it has the tuckaways for the laces. You really don't want loose shoelaces while you're out riding for several reasons. Number one, it can get caught in the chain, it can get caught in the foot peg, you can go to try to put your foot down and you get the shoelace stuck and then you drop the bike. So having a tuckaway for your shoelaces right here is a really good option on this boot as well. Now, Kind of keeping in theme with the SS900, this is not a motorcycle boot that is going to last you a lifetime. This is definitely an entry level, modest, honest beginner rider kit, but this is plenty to keep you safe on the road much more than your classic shoe. If you want something a little bit more elevated, we do sell Revit motorcycle shoes on our store. And also if you want to step up to an SMX S from Alpine Stars, we have that as well. So check out this Frontline Z1R boot and uh, get yourself nice and protected on your feet. But but equally from your feet, you need to protect your hands while you're on your motorcycle. Let's check out gloves next. Why? Well, the first inclination you have as a beginner rider is when you go down is to put your hands out. So we made a whole video talking about how there's no excuse to not wear motorcycle gloves. And that's especially true with this EBS Valencia glove over here. $40 gets you a set of gloves that are impact protection on the knuckles, on the palm, and are overall a great summer riding glove. This glove over here is obviously perforated, got a textile material, so I really wouldn't recommend this for fall or winter riding. But for the budget conscious rider who wants a set of gloves that's gonna keep them safe, this is a great option. Again, 40 bucks for these. We have a direct relationship with EBS. We actually buy them and fulfill them right out of here from our headquarters in Austin. And this is a great glove, man. We really love what EBS is doing here, especially for that entry level budget conscious beginner rider but again if you want to step up to something better we have plenty of options on the store we have stuff from alpine stars and 4sr that's going to provide you a ton of level of comfort and safety while you're wearing your motorcycle glove and keep you a little bit more safe but if you're trying to get it done for cheap it's hard to argue with these valencia evs gloves now let's check out the jacket so now that you have your helmet, your gloves, and your boots, the next most important thing, in my opinion, is a high quality motorcycle jacket. But we have this new Z1R Wappenshaw jacket that is gonna be really great for those of you not wanting to break the bank. 
160 bucks gets you into this jacket and it's got a lot of features for the price. Again, we're really impressed with the Z1R stuff. It's a new feature for us here on the store, but I think you're getting a lot of bang for buck on this jacket. Plenty of pockets, plenty of features. And one of my favorite things about this jacket is the fact that it's collared right here. You can kind of get away with being a civilian with this jacket. You don't look like some big beefy motorcycle rider. It's much more subtle, much more subdued. And this is a jacket you could actually wear while you're just out kind of on a ride or just out, you know, for a night on the town or something like that. Armor is already going to be included on this jacket at the shoulder and the elbows. If you want, you can spec in a back protector, which I highly recommend. I wouldn't want to ride without one. Uh, this jacket can also cinch here on the sides as well. You kind of make it a tighter fit to your body. This is a great all weather jacket as well. Despite being a textile, you can spec in a under layer on this and definitely get away with, you know, maybe some 50 or 40 degree riding with this thing. You can see here as well at the, uh, wrists you can also tighten this up you can put a larger set of touring style gloves and you can really get away with a lot of riding on this pair it with a little balaclava or maybe a neck gaiter and you've got a jacket you can wear in two to three seasons all for 160 bucks now again the theme here is this is not an amazing you know ridiculously full featured climb jacket or something like that. This is something that I think would fit a lot of beginner rider styles. You could get away with wearing this on a sport bike. You can get away with wearing this on a touring bike, an ADV bike, maybe even a dual sport bike too. This is a great all-purpose jacket, and that's why we're really proud to sell it as well. And I think in this colorway, it has a lot of great things going for it too. So next up, let's take a look at a great set of riding pants if you want to go the extra step and be super safe. All right, guys, these next two products are for when you really want to kind of step it up and buy some investment pieces, something you're going to last for a long time. And I think this 4SR Club Sport pants are a great, great, great fit. Um, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to have riding pants. I always wear them personally when I ride because I do want the utmost protection. I think beginner riders should probably start off with a helmet, boots, gloves, jacket, kind of those essentials. And then you can spec into a pair of riding pants if you want. $250 gets it done on these pants and that might sound a little pricey, but trust me, these are well worth the money. These are Kevlar lined, DuPont reinforced. They have elasticated right here for the knees as well. So if it's something you don't really think about, but when you're on a motorcycle, your knees are constantly bent, right? So you want a little bit of elastication. This is kind of track day technology here, making it into these pants. They also come with knee protectors and hip protectors as well. These pants are super comfortable, stretchy, all day great riding, and as well in this blue kind of Denim look, again, much like the Wappenshaw jacket, you can get away with wearing this all day and nobody's really gonna say, oh, you look like a Power Rangers while you're on your motorcycle. I used to have a pair of pants that look kinda like this and the elasticated feature is actually something that I got a lot of compliments on. People like the way it looked. It looks a little kinda neo retro, kinda Blade Runner future look to it. And these pants also have a bunch of pockets as well. You can definitely hold all of your stuff you need to hold while you're out riding on your motorcycle. And I think a great set of riding pants is a great investment to make as a beginner rider if you have the means. Again, I think the stuff we covered previously in this video are essentials. You need to have helmet, jacket, boots, maybe a jacket too if you really want it. Pants are kind of that upper echelon if you really want to get into the finer things in life, so to speak. So again, these 4SR Club Sport pants, we really, really dig these. These are awesome. Now let's get into the last bit of beginner rider kit. And you guys may give me a little bit of flack for this one, but stick with me. I do think a Cardo Pack Talk Edge is a great thing for beginner riders to have. Now hear me out, I know, Yam, why are you recommending the Apex Predator communication system, blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay, beginner riders don't necessarily need this, but again, much like the pants, this is an investment piece. You buy this and you can put this on any helmet that you get in the future. You can put it on your SS900, you can put it on an Arai, you can put it on a Shoei, whatever you eventually upgrade into, this can carry over with you. And this will last you easily five to six years with the ways the car does it works. I had a Pack Talk bowl that I used for four years before I ever upgraded to a Pack Talk Edge, and I think this Pack Talk Edge will last just as long. Why would you want one of these? Well, if you're out on a group ride, you can talk to other riders using Cardo systems or Bluetooth connectors using Cena's or anything like that. Natural voice communication to the Cardo, listen to music, get directions. Um, you know, this is a really, really great thing to have on your ride, and I love having my Cardo while we're out there on the road doing videos, filming stuff, or doing a long distance trip. But again, definitely an investment piece. You can definitely upgrade later Later on, you can start on something like a Freecom 4X from Cardo and then get the Pack Talk Edge. But I really think you'll save yourself more money in the long term if you get a Pack Talk Edge to start with and then go from there. Now, with all that being said, let's review your options as a beginner rider for your essentials kit and your kind of 
over the board kit and caboodle. All right, folks, so wrapping us up here and rounding out all the numbers, if you go with our bare essentials riding kit, which is just the helmet, boots, and gloves, that's gonna cost you $268. So that's the SS900 helmet for 109, that's the Z1R for 119, and the Valencia gloves for 40. However, as we mentioned in the beginning, really think you should get that riding jacket as well. If you upgrade into the Wappenshaw jacket, that's gonna get you at $428. Like I said, under 430 bucks, gets you everything you need to get started and out on the road. If you want to upgrade and get some of the more featureful kind of stuff to get you out on the road, the riding pants and the cardo, uh, upgrading to the Forest R pants is going to be $680, and then upgrading to the cardo is going to be a total of $1,070. But again, you can pair that back and pair that down. And honestly, guys, at the end of this video, I really just want you to be safe. You don't have to buy from my store. I obviously would appreciate it because that helps support the channel and keeps the videos going, but I just want you to get a great set of gear and to show you guys that you don't need to break the bank and there's no reason to be out there riding, not wearing proper motorcycle boots, gloves, helmets, and jackets at the very minimum. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember, you can get all the items featured today on shop.yamini.co and get entered to win this amazing Yamaha YZF R6. Can't promise it's a great beginner bike, but who the hell wouldn't want to win a Yamaha R6? We'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.